It's no secret that professional sports athletes get paid a handsome salary. Would you ever wonder what one of the top professional basketball players spends on his home? Well today guys, I'm going to show you inside of Dwayne Wade's $29 million house. Before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But without further ado guys, let's jump right into today's video. Dwayne Wade's $29 million home rests in Miami Beach, Florida. The only reason I'm telling you a relative location of the home is because his house is actually for sale. So if you have $29 million laying around, you can could snag up a future Hall of Famer's beautiful oceanfront property. We do ask though that you respect his privacy by not sharing the address or visiting the home at any time. Dwayne listed the home for sale in December of 2019 with an asking price of $29 million. However, this wasn't the first time he has attempted to sell his mansion. It was previously listed for sale at $32.5 million just a couple months prior in September of 2019. Dwayne purchased the home in December of 2010 for about $11 million, so the price could have $3.5 million probably doesn't bother him seeing how he has still doubled the value of his home in 10 years. We're not quite sure where Dwayne is moving to, but our hunch is after his 16 years in the NBA, he may want to return to his home city of Chicago to be near family and enjoy retirement. The new owner of this home better have some deep pockets because outside of the asking price of $29 million, you're also going to be looking at taxes and insurance for the home. The new owner of the home will be looking at paying roughly $122,000 annually for homeowners insurance as well as roughly $188,000 thousand dollars annually for property taxes. As well, we can assume if you're splurging on a multi-million dollar mansion, you probably are not a penny pincher, so you're going to want all the luxuries in life, including cleaning services and landscapers, which will most likely rack up the bill even further. But neglecting those factors, we can assume with a mortgage on the home that your average cost per month to own the home is going to be about $142,000 per month just to step foot inside. The home is set on a one acre lot of land with oceanfront access. What I love about this property is it's set by the bay side of Miami Beach so you have a little bit more of the calmer waters versus the potential crashing waves of the direct ocean. The backyard is set around a beautiful saltwater pool with plenty of lounge chairs to allow you to soak up the Miami sun. I love the outdoor dining area because I'm sure that's where I would eat just about every single meal. The house is a 6 bedroom, 11 bathroom with 11,690 square feet of living space, breaking down to about $2,480 per square foot. Coming in through the front gate, you are greeted with a basketball court, of course, so Dwayne can practice at home. As well, it's conveniently right next to the jungle gym so Twain can shoot some hoops while watching his kids. Diving into the home, you are greeted with the modern luxury you would expect in a $29 million home. I love the dark and bright contrast that most of the rooms have. Either the floor is a dark tile or hardwood with dark doors, but with the contrasting bright white walls to allow all the natural light from the Miami sun to light up the home. In the kitchen, you have relatively basic and sleep cabinets with a dark stone countertop. The island in the home is probably the longest island I have ever seen in a house. As well in the kitchen, the ceiling is lined with dark stained beams, which I absolutely love in any home because they give a much needed layer of depth to the ceiling. Moving on upstairs, you come to the master bedroom. In the room, you have a set of sliding doors leading out to the private balcony. I sure could see myself sitting there on summer nights with my future wife enjoying the sound of the waves. Off the master bedroom is the master bathroom, which has a massive freestanding tub looking out to the bay. As well, there is a massive glass walk-in shower with enough room in it for a small party, which this is Miami, so you never know where the party could end up. Moving on to the remaining bedrooms in the home, they all come with their own ensuite bathroom. Surprisingly, Dwayne didn't buy this massive house to say he'd bought a massive home, he actually was able to fill up all the rooms with his four kids and still have another room left over for guests. The rest of the home has many of the luxuries you would expect in a multi-million dollar mansion, like a movie theater and a bar and a home gym. But I think the main focal point of this property all circles back to the stunning backyard area with direct ocean access, a place that you can park your yacht when you're not sailing the oceans of the Caribbean. But that pretty much wraps up our tour of Dwayne Wade's $29 million home. I would love to hear what your favorite favorite part is about Dwayne Wade's $29 million house by leaving it down in the comments section down below. As well, would you drop $29 million on a home to live on the ocean in Miami, Florida? That wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on all of our social media accounts located in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.